The fact that little is known about Owen Tudor's early life and that it has instead become largely mythologized is attributed to his family's part in the Glendore Rising. At various times it has been said that he is the bastard son of an alehouse keeper, that his father was a fugitive murderer, that he fought at Agincourt, that he was the keeper of Queen Catherine's household or wardrobe, that he was an esquire of Henry V, and that his relationship with Catherine began when he fell into the Queen's lap while dancing. However the case, we know that Owen Tudor was a descendant of a prominent family from Penmanid on the Isle of Anglesey, which traces its lineage back to Edneed Fecken. Historians consider the descendants of Edneed Fecken, including Owen Tudor, one of the most powerful families in 13th to 14th century Wales. Henry V of England died on August 31, 1422, leaving his wife Queen Catherine of Valois widowed. The Dowager Queen initially lived with her infant son, King Henry VI, before moving to Wallingford Castle early in his reign. However the circumstances, Owen Tudor married Catherine of Valois in a private ceremony at an unknown location on an unknown date, an act that Owen would later be punished for. Catherine would give birth to three sons, Edmund, Jasper, and Edward. Following Queen Catherine's death, Owen Tudor lost the protection of the statute on Dowager Queens and was imprisoned in Newgate Prison. In 1438, he escaped but was later recaptured and held in the custody of the constable at Windsor Castle. In 1439, Henry VI of England granted him a general pardon, restoring his goods and lands. In addition, Henry granted him a pension and provided him with a position in court and appointed him keeper of the King's Parks in Denby. In 1460, Owen and Jasper were granted life offices in the Duke of York's lordship in Denby a prelude to them later seizing the lordship. Owen Tudor was an early casualty of the Wars of the Roses fought between the Yorks and the Lancasters. He joined his son Jasper's army in Wales in January 1461, a force that was defeated at the Battle of Mortimer's Cross by Edward of York. On February 2nd, Owen Tudor was captured and beheaded at Hereford. His head was placed on a pike at the Market Cross. It is said that a maid woman fixed his hair and washed away the blood from his face, and then set 100 lit candles around him. Owen Tudor had expected to be in prison rather than executed. Moments before his execution, he realized that he was to die and murmured, That head shall lie on the stock that was once to lie on Queen Catherine's lap. His body was buried in a chapel on the north side of Greyfriars Church in Hereford. He had no memorial until his legitimate son David paid for a tomb before the friary was dissolved.